We've all heard the argument that plant-based diets don't provide us with enough protein, but is it true? It turns out that animal protein isn't the only way to get our bodies everything they need. Protein is just one prong of the macronutrient trinity, along with lipids, fats, and carbohydrates. Proteins are essential nutrients for the human body, providing energy and building blocks, amino acids, for all sorts of body tissues. Though best known for their importance in maintaining and building muscle, proteins play a crucial role within all of our cells as major structural components and in hormones, coenzymes, our DNA, and much more. Welcome back to another episode of Top Trainer. Exercise not only changes your body, but it also changes your mind, attitude, and mood. Subscribe to the channel now and never miss any of our latest and greatest videos to keep you motivated and equipped with the knowledge to succeed. Proteins and amino acids are crucial to our health, but how much do we actually need to take in each day? The recommended daily intake is just 0.83 gram per kilogram of body weight per day for an adult. For a 60 kg female, this equals a daily recommended intake of a mere 49.8 gram of protein, while a male of 80 kg should aim for a daily intake of 66.4 gram of protein. For children, pregnant or breastfeeding women these recommendations are slightly higher, as they need more protein to fuel growth either of themselves or of their child. While most plants contain protein in varying amounts, there are some that are positively bursting with it, making meeting these protein needs on a plant-based diet surprisingly easy. Tofu, tempeh, and seitan are often considered the stars of the protein game, containing between 20 gram tempeh or tofu and 28 gram seitan of protein per 100 gram legumes, such as lentils and beans, are also excellent protein sources serving 10 to 13 gram of protein per 100 gram. Whole grains and nuts are often overlooked sources of protein, but they are worth considering, with oats, 17 gram per 100 gram, pumpkin seeds, 33 gram per 100 gram, or walnuts, 15 gram per 100 gram, all helping us reach our daily recommended intake of protein. While our bodies can produce some amino acids all by themselves, there are nine of these building blocks which we cannot produce and need to obtain through our food. These are called the essential amino acids, and our diets must include enough of each of them in order to maintain our health. Some critics argue that plant-based proteins aren't complete, meaning they don't provide all the critical amino acids our bodies need and therefore are of lesser biological value than animal-based proteins which generally include a wider range of amino acids within them. While it is true most individual plants do not contain the full portfolio of essential amino acids, all the essential amino acids can be found in plant-based foods. Research shows that rather than meeting all nutritional needs in every single meal, it is sufficient and sustainable to consume all necessary amino acids throughout the day. However, as an exception to the rule, there are indeed some plant-based protein sources that contain all nine essential amino acids, such as quinoa, soy, and even potatoes. Is protein deficiency a real threat for plant-based eaters? Most people considering reducing the amount of meat in their diet worry about meeting their daily protein needs, but where will I get my protein from? is one of the most asked and worried about questions and the idea of protein deficiency on a plant-based diet still bothers many people to this day. Is protein deficiency a real threat, though? Protein deficiencies are very rare in industrialized countries. Illnesses resulting from prolonged inadequate intake of protein are usually associated with a general malnutrition, which is often found in developing countries Studies show that once you meet your recommended number of daily calories, you will most likely consume enough proteins automatically. In places where a diversity of foods is easily accessible, meeting the daily recommendations for protein and essential amino acids can be perfectly possible without eating meat, especially when combining a wide variety of plant-based protein sources, which is advised. Of course, it might take some planning in the beginning and maybe even meal prepping. And with that, 
We've reached the end of today's episode all about whether a plant-based diet suffices for protein. Do you agree with plant-based diets? Let us know and get involved in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this one and found it helpful, remember to leave a like on the video and to subscribe to Top Trainer for even more amazing videos, just like this one. Also, if you want even more information to help you on your own fitness journey and to browse our range of supplements, fitness equipment, and check out our bespoke fitness guides, head on over to toptrainer.com for all of our latest products and information. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.